What's going on guys? So today I want to give you my biggest tips about how I grew on social media and how it has benefited my business. But the one thing I want to ask before you even get into anything is that you just please like, subscribe because there's going to be a ton of content coming your way about growing on social media, about me, about the business, and honestly it just helps so much. It's absolutely free and I just want to thank you guys. When did I first start posting on social media? Well it was about four years ago. I initially started posting on social media about respiratory therapy, which is my current job, that's what I do full time. There wasn't a whole lot of videos or people that knew about respiratory therapy, and I wanted people to understand what it was. I watched a ton of videos talking of people talking about what a physician assistant was because that was going to be my next move, and I thought that was awesome because not everyone knew what a PA was, and I figured I want to do this for respiratory therapy while I'm kind of preparing for PA school, plus what kind of build my online presence and I figured oh, I can make some extra money from YouTube while I'm in school. That's initially why I started posting on social media. But then COVID happened and a bunch of other stuff happened and then I decided that I didn't want to go to PA school anymore and I decided to start traveling as a respiratory therapist, made a bunch of money and that's when I started investing it and starting my own company. Plus I always had this entrepreneurial edge of wanting to start my own business. I just never knew what to do or how to get started. And then I finally just jumped in. Like I said, I'm gonna be posting more about that. I already have tons of videos about it. And if you wanna see those videos, go check them out. But anyway, going back to social media, how did I build my following or my presence? I initially started by just posting and that kind of worked, but that wasn't the main thing. And I strongly suggest that you don't just post. I see a lot of people that post, 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 and they go nowhere. And the biggest thing is when people post, 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 they only care about themselves. They only want people to notice them and what they're doing. But what I noticed and what I've learned from other mentors is that you need to make content to provide value, to help other people. Your main goal needs to be to help other people and how you can help other people achieve and get results that they wanna see no matter what the field is. If it may be in healthcare or fitness. You see a lot of influencers that are just posing with their shirt off and yeah, that's cool and all and it'll get people to, it'll get likes, it gets likes, but it doesn't build a brand, doesn't build a relationship. If you want people to keep coming back time and time again, you need to build that relationship. You need to let people know who you are. This is what I tell all my ambassadors all the time. We'll say Bob, for example. I say, Bob, you gotta let people know who you are you are crazy strong, crazy fast, you have an insane physique, but nobody knows who you are, what you like, what's your personality. If you want to build your brand, you need to start talking to the camera, not just posing or of you lifting with some motivational stuff in the background. No, you can actually talk to the camera just like this. Let people know who you are. That's one of my biggest things when telling people to post on social media, is just tell people who you are. Secondly, Build relationships. Networking, networking, networking is the number one thing that you need to focus on. Talk to people. Um, comment on other people's videos. Show that you want to support them so they'll support you. This is very true when uh, selling the supplements or starting my company. People want to come back because of the relationship that I have with them. If they feel like they go to another company, they feel like they're cheating on me, per se. Um, so this is one thing that has really helped me, and I'm super thankful for all of you that support the company, that are part of the company, and I'm glad that we have that relationship. Once again, going back to the number one rule, my whole goal is to help you, and I wanna help you get the results that you, you want, no matter what the field is, or no matter what event you're doing, you're trying to look a certain way. Whatever the case may be, I wanna help you. Maybe you wanna start your own business. I have tons of videos talking about how you can start your own business. And this is why I wanna dive more into the social media aspect and how I can tell you how I grew on social media. That way I can help you. Once again, the main goal of posting on social media should be to help people and to give back. Not me, 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 pay attention to me. Yes, I do have some vlogging videos and stuff like that and I do talk about myself a lot. But this is going back to letting people know who I am, who my family is, my personality is about all that kind of stuff. Um, so therefore we have giving back and networking. Networking is probably the biggest thing, like I said. What I strongly suggest you do is comment on 50 to 100 videos every single day. And then once you start talking to people, make it like open-ended questions. That way, uh, for example, 
Hey dude, you're looking good. How long have you been lifting? I say, oh, I've been lifting for five years. Thank you so much. Then you open another open in a question. And then maybe you give them a follow and then you start getting in their DMs and getting to know them a little bit. Build that relationship because people are going to remember that compared to just a video of, or just a comment of you saying, looking good, man. They're going to have no idea who you are. However, if you compliment them on something that's going on in their life, you ask them about themselves, then they're going to remember you. Um, people are very selfish. They only want to care about, I don't want to say they are very selfish, but the number one thing that people love to talk about is themselves. So keep asking them about themselves. Get to know them, like I'm saying. And then ultimately, this is going to have them support you. I've done this in the past as well, where I've gone, I just followed a bunch of people, and then in hopes that they follow me back. And yeah, that works. However, a lot of them will unfollow you because they don't care. They just want the followers. Going back to the people are selfish. Uh, that that just doesn't work. <laughs> I've done it in the past, and it, yeah, it looks cool, and it's great to get like your first thousand followers so you can start going live, or even your first ten thousand followers on TikTok so you can start making a little bit of income. But in the long run, these people are not going to stay. They're not going to support you. And yeah, you will find groups where people will say, hey, follow me, I'll follow you back. But once again, all these people are very selfish and they only care about themselves. They don't go back to the golden rule of giving back. You need to provide value to people. You need to show people that you're going to give them something that they will use. That way they can succeed. Um, so big things are just networking and giving back. Second thing or third thing is being consistent. You need to constantly post. I took a break in the past and let me tell you, it absolutely shot me in the foot, killed me because people stop seeing your face. This is why it's great to post on your stories every single day. People come to your story, they see your face every single day. This is why a lot of companies will send out emails, they'll text you, that way you kind of remember them. You keep them in the back of your mind. And this is exactly what you need to do as a content creator. You need to post new stories consistently, post videos or reels, TikToks, YouTubes consistently. I've not always been the greatest at this. And like I said, I did take a couple months break way back when. Shot me in the foot because everybody forgot about who Austin was. And this is something I strongly suggest that you never do. Stay consistent, build relationships, and then... I also want you to be a part of a community that is going to support you. So this goes back to the relationship aspect. Here at Top Fitness, we have a community of athletes um, that, or just people who are in the fitness in general that all support each other and make sure that we all can achieve our goals, even not if it's just on social media, but just in fitness, in life, maybe it's being a better dad, being a better mom. We just want to help support you that way you can succeed because Let's be honest, the world is the most disconnected it's ever been right now, and I want to help bring social media together, or I want to use social media to help bring us together. Uh, so this is why I have the Facebook group, which is the 1% Club Top Fitness, and I strongly suggest you go join that because ultimately we're going to help you, post your socials, we'll go help you, we'll follow you, we'll support you, and once again, you're going back to building that relationship and building your personal name. And then, of course, it goes back to just posting good content. Now, is all of my content, like, fabulous, or do I pay somebody to do it? No. Some of it is kind of boring. It's straightforward talking to the camera like this. However, it works. Look at Sam Sulek, for example. A lot of his content is just him in the car, driving and talking, him in the gym, just talking. It's just him talking to the camera. It's not very entertaining, but... He makes millions of dollars from YouTube and content creation just by talking to the camera. So don't think, oh, I only need to post videos that are going to be super good or super great. Yes, you want quality, but you also want quantity as well. This goes back to being the uh, consistent thing. Recently with me, what I've done is I posted a lot of videos while I'm running and just kind of talk about my run, uh, just my journey. Because then I'm killing two birds with one stone as well. I'm documenting stuff and I'm video recording and I'm also getting my workout in. So killing two birds with one stone. And like I said, a lot of people have actually been 
really interested in that, which is super. And I never would have expected that, honestly. So biggest thing is just keep posting consistently, post a lot, and focus on quantity, but you also want to add quality in there as well. Make sure it's that nice little balance. A lot of people say make one, make each video 1% better, which is true. You do want to consistently get better because video editing, recording, talking to the camera like this is a skill and you will build that over time. But you also need to post consistently because this is ultimately what's going to drive results in the, in the long run. Uh, and then you can focus on all that little stuff like the hooks, the story, all that good stuff when you're creating a really good video. But when you're talking to the camera like this, you don't necessarily need a script. Just talk from the heart. Let people know what you're talking about, who you are. Anyway, hope this guy... Anyway, I hope this video helped you. If you guys lasted this long. Thank you so much. Please give me a like and a subscriber. And I'll see you in the next one.